Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and these are going to be our 2020 year overview videos. These are extremely important because we are coming into an era that some people are coining the golden era, you know, a quest towards the golden consciousness, all of those things. So we're going to see a lot of density blowing out of our lives, out of our world, and it might throw you off a little bit. So I wanted to do these videos so that you could be prepared <laughs> and you could have your energy set so that, you know, as things start to unfold, you can go with the flow, you can observe without investing and you'll be okay. All right. These are not scary times. These are not, this is not a threat. These are not videos to be like danger, 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 watch out. No, 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 no. It's not about that. It's about being in your awareness. So through these videos, it's my hope and my intention that this gives you uh, some bit of good information, something that will help you per sign. <laughs> and that's just to divvy up the audience. That way I can focus in on different energetic groups and, you know, make sure you're watching for your sun, your moon, your rising. You might want to watch for your Venus sign, you know, whatever works for you. But hopefully the information that comes through is exactly what you need to hear throughout the year to help you remain centered and be able to roll with whatever's coming right? <laughs> so if you would like to get a personal reading with me, you can just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. I will leave information in the description box below on courses. I may be putting out some courses having to do with getting prepared for 2020 and lots of other things. There's tons, there's a huge library of stuff there. So go check that out. And of course, if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'll leave all that information down below as well. If you want to just support me by subscribing and hitting that like, that's awesome too. So let's get into it. Hello Pisces, we're going to be looking at what's going on for you for 2020. But before we get into that, please make sure that you watch my video that I did on 2020 to 2024. It lays the groundwork for these readings. Also, you might want to check out your sun, moon, rising signs, your Venus sign, whatever works for you. Also, please keep in mind that these are not surface level readings. They never have been. Thank you very much. <laughs> so these are not about just what's happening on the surface of your life. As a matter of fact, these particular readings, we're going really deep. So we will probably won't talk about anything surface level at all. There might be little hints of that here and there, but it's mostly about uh, opening your consciousness, opening your light and getting into that collectiveness. Okay, getting in, doing your part to the collective. Okay, so let's get started here. Let me get this deck. And let's see what we have for you. All right, that should do it right there. We have for you Gaia. Gaia has been coming up quite a bit. So for you, there's this feeling here of a lot of earth shifts and changes. Your perception is changing, how you see the world, how you see yourself. All right. So some of you are going to get a little stuck in the ego. This card is confusion. And um, they're saying unsettled, feeling a little unsettled. I'll hold these up in a little bit here, but uh, let's see. And sacred sexuality. So understanding where your creative life force is comes from all right this is the sacral chakra and we'll just start with this one the sacred sexuality card yes again if you want to bring it to the surface level i guess you could but there's a far deeper meaning going on here so again it's about creation it's about that creation energy rising up in you and you learning how to utilize it in i want to say a proper way i don't want to put like that kind of stress around it <laughs> to figure it out and make it right but um, if you are, let's just talk about sexuality. If you're throwing your sexual energy around, um, who hasn't come across somebody who's been hedonistic? Uh, if that's how you live, okay, no judgment. However, that's not a channeling of your uh, creative energy. It's just throwing it around, right? And being disconnected uh, for a thrill, <laughs> right? Being disconnected, um, and not it does I don't even know where that goes in a moment like that like it just kind of poofs off and um goes off into the universe that energy is now gone and it's probably not going to come back I don't know how that works exactly I'm not getting a message around that but um the sacred sexuality card is talking about understand your life flow understand 
how your energy is utilized, who you connect with. Yes, because that is absolutely connected into the emotional body. As much as people, again, in the ego consciousness have always wanted to disconnect, you know, always wanted to disconnect from, uh, you know, sexual acts and saying it doesn't have to involve emotions. Eh, um, I think we're going to be finding that we've been really off base with that. <laughs> and, you know, I'm very sex positive, you know, all of those things. However, I'm also not stupid. You know, I, I see what's going on. And, uh, you know, a lot of people end up getting hurt. They feel more empty, or I guess the word is emptier. These days we just say more everything, right? We, yeah. So anyway, they start to feel emptier and they start to feel, um, they, they just have to get their next source of food. And there's something a little broken about that. I'm sorry, but there is, all right? And we're going to start discovering here that people get smarter about their energy and where they expend it, okay? And who they spend their time with. Yes. All right, so let's go back to the beginning here. The beginning card was Gaia. Now, Gaia is all about that earthly uh, energy, that creation energy. And this is you getting back to basics over the course of this year. And really, you know, we wanna say, get into a space of not feeling like you have to define yourself and like you don't have to, you know, have like a title on your life kind of thing. But this might be you realizing I'm not that, I'm this. So it's not a hard definition. It's just a shift. It's a pivot. It's an understanding of your energy. And yes, because it, you know, comes up in the same spread as the sacred sexuality, it could have something to do with you defining your sexuality. Um, but as I always say, why label it? I mean, if a label makes you feel better, okay. Um, or if labels are useful in some way, go for it. But for you guys, it's about the grounding. It's about cleansing and releasing. It's about not wasting your energy this year. Okay. Then we have perception. And this is what's interesting. You start to really change your perception around your life and your place in life. All right, that's an important thing. How you contribute to this earth plane existence. How do you show up in this world? Yes, and this is also, I feel sort of like an earth observation card. Now, what I mean by that, I'm not talking about people watching, which honestly is a little creepy. Uh, people are like, no, I love people watching at the Starbucks. So comforting to know that when I'm in line for a latte, someone's staring at me and waiting to see, like, yeah, get a life. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, the perception here is noticing maybe it's more like the behavior of people around you. And now you have this perception before you might have been tempted to judge them, but now you feel their pain and now you're like, oh, I get it. Okay, that doesn't need to be an excuse for bad behavior. But what we're getting at here is that this perception, now you start coming from, because you're happier in your own body, because you're expressing, you're not wasting your energy anymore, right? Maybe for some of you, this has to do with a very literal kind of interpretation. You're not throwing your energy away anymore. Now you have more reserves to care for yourself, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. You know, you're releasing some of your pain body. And so where you're kind of in a good place and maybe you start seeing in others where it's like, oh my gosh, I used to be there. I used to be that person. I used to, you know what I'm saying? So that's the perception. You start to see um, where others haven't yet discovered their freedom. Okay. So then we have confusion. So again, some of you might have initially some hard time releasing what you've known, or maybe that rebel is still you know, kind of coming forward in you and saying, no, I have to do whatever I can to push people away <laughs> or whatever the deal is, or you have some confusion about what direction to head. Um, some restlessness, that's the word that's coming up for you, some restlessness. So if you start to feel like you're putting pressure on yourself to make something happen, you know, that's your time to take a rest. That's your time to go, hey, I may not have all the answers right now. That's because the world is changing and fluctuating and I am so lucky to be a part of it. I don't have to have all the answers, okay? So take it easy on yourselves. Don't try to force anything. It's not gonna work anyway. <laughs> so just bear that in mind. All right, so let's get you a color card. Resistance. So it's going to be like, I think there's a lot of positive stuff here, but there's also this feeling of resistance and not wanting to move forward. Ruby, regenerate, excuse me, rejuvenate your body. The number is eight. So again, 
honoring your body, honoring your sexual energy, honoring who you are, not letting people just take advantage of you, not um, mistreating your body with drugs, alcohol, you know, the bad food, you know, all of that stuff. Uh, but this is loving you, loving you. So for some of you, it might be getting out of um, toxicity, right? So you have a perception now, you have an awareness of toxicity around you and you're going, you know what? I don't have to be a part of this. I don't have to accept this. I don't have to be in this, right? So that's what the Ruby card is talking about. Activate your heart chakra. It's not even just the heart chakra. It's just the heart energy, the heart brain. Let that come on out, all right? And we'll get moving. But um, again, this comes down to appreciating your physical form and taking excellent care of yourself and not putting pressure to figure out the mind of the universe, all right? <laughs> so we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.